Hey you guys, so here is a cooking video and this time we're gonna be using my crock pot. Now, hmm, I could be a little bit of ju judgy when it comes to crock pot meals. I can count on my fingers how many times I've actually cooked chicken in a crock pot. For the, just for the simple reason that I prefer to cook on the stove, I normally use my, excuse me, I primarily use my crock pot for keeping food warm if I'm going to a potluck, God forbid, or if I'm having a party or something to get together, I've already cooked the food, I'm gonna go ahead and place it in my crock pot to keep warm. Does that make sense? So this is possibly my third time, not even, probably not even that, my third or fourth time making chicken tacos in a crock pot. Have nothing against it, but again, I prefer cooking on the stove. So let's just get right into it. You would need some taco seasoning, a can of Rotel, chilies, cumin powder, onion powder, garlic powder, chili, paprika, depending on your liking. I have some garlic here, lime, goya seasoning. We have half of an onion. We have some cilantro, and then we have chicken thighs. Look, I feel like chicken thighs are the underdog when it comes to chicken, but they can be good, and you will find some recipes, chicken, excuse me, chicken taco recipes that call for chicken thighs. Um, mostly you would use chicken breast, chicken tenders, but chicken thighs can be just as juicy, y'all, especially if you're slow cooking it. And then I have some um, flour, straight tacos. You can use any type of tacos that you want. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and season up my meat. I like to layer my seasonings just a little bit, okay? Season up my meat with the garlic powder, onion powder, um, a little bit of the chili, and the goya so here i am seasoning up the chicken thighs now i do like to leave some of the fat on because it does give it some flavor so i ended up draining off half of the tomatoes because tomatoes do um, provide some liquid now looking at this i'm going to gauge it um if it need if it looks like it needs some more liquid i will add some chicken stock or chicken broth i should say um right now it looks like it's gonna be okay y'all i'm not sure i'm gonna go ahead and place the lid on it's on high i did drizzle over some olive oil like one tablespoon um it's on high how long would this take i don't know <laughs> on low i would say probably um four to six hours depending on how much chicken there's only four chicken uh, thighs in here on high half of that time but you always want to make sure you can tell when the chicken is done once it starts to fall apart this is after an hour and I did not have to add any more liquid okay still needs to be cooked for a while but since it's still kind of early it's just now four o'clock I'm gonna turn it down on low so they could take its time so this chicken is done look at the amount of liquid that came out of this dish that's a lot. So now what I'm going to do, I, what you hear in the back um, is the pan sizzling. I'm going to take out quite a bit of this liquid, but I'm going to use this liquid for my rice I'm making. Yes, girl. And I'm going to break up this chicken, um, sprinkle on some cilantro and some lime. Are you guys still putting on some cilantro and the juice of half a lime? And this took one hour to cook on high, two hours on low. I will not have the recipe in the description box because y'all, I make this differently every time. Just rewind it a few times, scroll, and write down the ingredients. So that is it. I served this on some flour tortillas with a side of corn and rice, and this was a really good meal. Thank y'all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.